by David J. Lynch, Washington Post. Related articles GOP leaders scramble to save tax bill The Senate tax bill vote a Rama, a primer Trump touts tax cut benefits in Missouri speech Congressional report, GOP tax bill tilts toward wealthy Senate tax bill clears hurdle, faith still uncertain U.S. Business shows little sign of needing the hefty tax cut that Congressional Republicans are rushing to enact into law, according to several analysts. Big business already is posting record profits while paying less than half the share of Washington's bills that it paid a half century ago. So why cut the corporate tax rate to 20% from 35%, as the Republican plans have committed to do? It's not a matter of trying to give the companies more money, said Alan Viard, a former Federal Reserve economist. The Senate Finance Committee version of the tax bill would hand corporations $682 billion over the next decade that they otherwise would have sent to the Internal Revenue Service, according to the Joint Committee on Taxation. Supporters of the bill say it will unlock funds for more business investment, lower the price of capital and help the U.S. maintain its global competitive advantage. More than eight years after the end of the Great Recession, business investment although increasing over the past year remains anemic. Cutting the corporate tax rate will make the United States a more attractive place to invest, which will help create jobs and boost wages, Republicans say. Yet there are disputes over whether the lower rate will trigger the advertised investment surge. Edward Kleinbard, a University of Southern California tax law expert, says a provision allowing businesses to immediately deduct the full cost of equipment purchases would have a far greater impact than the rate cut. Allowing expensing on new investments is more targeted, he said. Investment fell after the last corporate rate cut, in 1986, according to Commerce Department statistics. The bipartisan overhaul lowered the rate to 35 percent from 46 percent. Many chief executives have said they plan to return tax cut proceeds to shareholders rather than build new factories or hire more workers. Bank of America Merrill Lynch surveyed 302 companies in July and found that 65% said they would use the tax cut to pay down debt while 35% planned new capital spending. Even some proponents sound lukewarm. I don't think there's a top tax expert in the country who thinks this is really good tax reform said economist Lawrence Kotlikoff of Boston University, whose research showing a potential $3,500 annual jump in wages for the average working household has been cited by the White House in support of the planned cuts. The White House Council of Economic Advisors says that the primary mechanism by which a corporate tax cut would boost output is by reducing the cost of capital. Yet capital already is cheap and plentiful. Corporations are sitting on a $2.3 trillion mountain of cash, and those with a AAA credit rating can borrow for 20 years at just 3.5% interest, more than two percentage points less than the long-run average, according to Moody's. Most companies are not cash-constrained, said Martin Sullivan, chief economist for the nonprofit tax analysts.